Hi, it's Cammy. Welcome or welcome back to my luxury channel where I don't edit so much. I don't have the greatest equipment. I don't have fantastic lighting. My thumbnails are eh. Um, but I like luxury. I like contemporary. I like shopping. And anything that's in my closet that I think is of interest, I might show you. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around and please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I upload other videos. It's all free. You just have to make a YouTube account and you get to hang out, chat, comment, interact. It's a lot of fun, so why not, right? Anyway, I want to do really quickly, I wanted to remind you guys, if, you, if you're new to my channel, I do vlog sales and I will link the last one down below so you can see more in detail. Um, but I just want to show you two items that I still have for sale and I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know why anyone's not biting good prices. First, I have the uh, Coach Small Dakota in the blue. I think it might be called denim, but I'm not sure. And I have this on my community post. If you have any questions, I'll put my email down below. I have it on the community post, I think for $275. I'm not sure if I remember correctly, um, but I'm a little negotiable because I really, I just need to make room and I just, I don't have the room for all these. It's, it's like, it's brand new. It really is. I think I used it once. I used it once. That was it. Um, there's no flaws on it at all. Uh, but again, if you're interested, email me, we'll discuss, I'll send you extra pictures. I'll send you a video, whatever you like. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It has, um, a top handle. This is the inside. It has an adjustable and removable crossbody strap, beautiful gold hardware. It's gorgeous. The other thing I put on my last vlog sale was this Hermes Kelly Toggle Sterling Silver Necklace. I'm not going to put it on. I'm just going to show you real quickly. This is what it looks like. It's almost 16 inch. I bought it in um, on Fashion File. Uh, the one I just saw recently on Fashion File was going for like over six hundred. I believe they're still on the Hermes site for about eight hundred, and I am selling it for under six. I have it on my community post. I think for um, I don't know, I think five seventy five, something like that. But I'm negotiable with this too. So if you're interested email me i'll put my email down below and and we'll talk because i i it's beautiful but i just i never put it on i never put it on i just, i don't know why uh i love it maybe it's because it's a toggle i'm not used to toggle chains and i feel like they're always going to open or something like that maybe i don't know anyway let me know if you're interested. I'm doing a fantastic price for this. I'm going to go lower than what I put on the community site if you're interested. It comes with, obviously, the box and the original Hermes box. Is that upside down? No. The original Hermes box. Okay, really quickly, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing, not unboxing, unbagging, unenveloping. Did I just show my address? That's very possible. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, this is just something I saw. I just came across it and I said, ooh, that's really kind of cute. I, I, I have a scissor. I don't know how to open this without destroying something. I'm afraid I might rip into the item. Okay, I'm just going to cut it across like this with a scissor that barely works. Um, it's a piece of jewelry and, you know, it's described as authentic Prada repurposed. If no one knows what that means, it means they take a piece from a Prada or any bag for that matter. They take a piece from that handbag or wallet or whatever could be any piece from that designer piece and they repurpose it into something else so is it really considered on an authentic prada piece i don't know i asked where did the prada triangle come from and they said from a wallet 
it, it's basically you could only just trust or not trust it's not crazy price so i felt like you know what it's so pretty i wanted it anyway i'm not going to really be concerned my concern was it's stainless steel and i'm really happy about that because it won't terminate green and it won't tarnish um the actual triangle i'll show you let me show you oh this is really pretty this is really prettier than i thought whether it's real i don't know the reason Okay, let me show you this against here. It didn't give the measurements and I thought it was a lot bigger, the piece. And to be honest with you, I am thrilled that it's small because I don't have a triangle on my neck. How big do you want a piece to be? You want it to be a little dainty, a little small. So the fact that this is really small, not too small, is really great i love it i really do love it um i it's it says adjustable which it does seem to be adjustable again this is what it looks like and this triangle was the the they add the chain and they attach it to what appears to be a triangle the uh, logo piece that might have been attached to a wallet or a bag or whatever this person told me it came from a wallet. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's any way to know if this triangle piece right here is authentic because I thought because it had a hole here that it was attached to an item like a wallet or a bag at, on three sides. But when I started doing more investigating, not all of the Prada triangles have three holes. Some have two. So, um... I also asked people and they said the back doesn't necessarily have to have anything on it. I don't know if that's true. This is the back and there's nothing on it. Um, but I guess if this was on a wallet or on a bag, why would it have anything on the back? It's attached to the bag. <laughs> so that would kind of make sense that it wouldn't. So let me just put it on real quickly so you can see how it looks. I saw a few on Etsy. I saw a few on eBay. The prices were really varying. They were like $65 to like $120, which I was not going to pay because I really don't know for sure if it's authentic, right? So I said, let me just, uh, this one I think was like the cheapest I could find, which was like 60. And I said, even that might be too expensive if it's not real, a real product piece. Um, but nothing's going to happen to it because it's stainless steel. So I figured, all right, let's just, let's just do it. All right. I don't know where I attached it. I just attached it. So the way I attached it now, it appears like where it's laying is probably about 17 inch, not quite 18. Um, but this kind of is laying where... A 17 inch would lay on I me mean, if it was 16 it might be up a little bit higher but it's not so let me just show you how it looks I love it it's so pretty I just I hope I can't see I can't see in my computer screen very uh, it detailed so I just hope that the chain lays flat because I know that happens sometimes when you have a chain and it's not and the the pendant is not put on properly that the chain will be twisted and a chain like this i believe should lay flat so i don't know i'd have to play with it look in the mirror but right now from my computer screen i can't really tell if this chain is laying flat or not but it does look pretty it does look pretty and it's not in your face which i'm glad about it's it's small it's about maybe the the widest is maybe three quarters of an inch it's it's really it's it's so pretty so anyway that's all i wanted to come on and show you today my little prada necklace whether it's authentic or not it's a repurposed it is what it is i'm not going to really worry about it i just want to if my neck turns green then i'll have a problem because they said stainless steel and i'm going to check the clasp because stainless steel should be stamped. I have other stainless steel jewelry. So anyway, 
that's what I have. And please don't forget, if you're interested, the Coach Dakota Small for sale and this gorgeous Hermes toggle Kelly necklace. Ah, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, and that's pretty much it. I will see you soon. Take care.